Okay, so this one is a somewhat more difficult problem. Find R if, and then we see here they give us some sigma notation, and they tell us that we're adding the terms from the I starting at 1 and going all the way up to infinity. So let's just do the first few of those, and they give us that the sum to infinity is actually 12. So um, let's write that out. 2 to the power uh, 2 times r 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So the first term is just 2 plus the second term when i is equal to 2, 2 minus 1 is 1 so r to the power of 1. So 2r to the power of 1 plus now it's 3 3 minus 1 is 2r squared, so it's 2r squared, plus, and 3 terms is more than enough, okay, so eventually we see dot dot dot, okay, ellipse tells us it's going to infinity, and here we see on the left hand side we are summing to infinity, so our sum to infinity is equal to 12, okay. That's what we have, but the sum to infinity is a formula. It's the formula S infinity is A over 1 minus R. And here we see we have an unknown that we're trying to solve. To solve an unknown, we need an equation. This equation has an R, it has A, which I also have, and it has this unknown, or this value, that I that is not unknown. I do know that value. S infinity. So if I do my stock taking, I've already done um, the sum to infinity. Do I have my first term? Yes, my first term is 2. Do I have my constant ratio? Actually, no, I don't. That's what I'm trying to solve. But let's go and substitute what we do have. We have um, the sum to infinity is 12. We have a is equal to 2. And we have 1 minus r, r still being unknown. It's a fraction in a... Um, in an equation, so I multiply with the denominator on both sides, and on the right hand side I get 12 minus 12r is equal to 2. On the right hand side they just cancel, so it's just 2. So I get negative 12r is equal to 2 minus 12, that will be negative 10. And negative 10, if I divide both sides with a negative 12, negative 12, I find my answer negative 10 over 12, which can simplify to 5 over 6. And there, do you see that r is less than 1 and bigger than negative 1? Okay, it must be because this sequence converges. Because summing to infinity, we actually get an answer. It converges, with, which means that r must be some value less than 1 but bigger than negative 1.